Welcome to another dialogue tutorial. It's so good to uh, be doing this all over again. Hope you're doing all right and hope you're doing great. And uh, I'm pretty sure the last tutorial you watched, did you subscribe? Yeah, I'm giving you value and I think the only way you can, one of the ways you can really say thank you or appreciate this is to subscribe to the channel. So uh, if you have not subscribed, feel free, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there. And you know, just give me a give me a follow, so that anytime I launch a video, you definitely um you definitely get notified. And also, it's good for the YouTube algorithm, so other persons can see such tutorial and get to use it for you know get to learn with it and get to make very good use of it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to change visibility based on conditions. That a lot of times you're building apps with a download, and then you have the admin dashboard. You have the user dashboard. And you have things that you don't want the admin to see and you have things that you want the users to see only so what how do you do this you change visibility based on setting conditions this doesn't just work for admin only it works lots of times when your screens are empty let's say you're you're creating a real estate application where you you users need to upload properties every time so what happens when a user haven't um, uploaded any property are you going to show them a are you going to show them an empty screen that's not going to be very good for user experience but instead you want to put a placeholder right there and probably tell them hey you have to subscribe hey you need to um you need to upload the property for you to get started. So a majority of the type of application that you'll be creating, you're going to be using conditional visibility to tell them, this is what you should do. This is how you should do it. This is where you should do it. So let's get started with it. So first of all, I've gone ahead to create a database and I've gone ahead to create a, a user database with um, with a with a boolean value, a yes or no value that says, hey, are you an admin or not? And I've created two users. So if you click on it, I've created two users. And among these two users, you can see that one of them is an admin and the other is not. So what we are going to be doing, we're going to be creating a feed. We're going to be creating a, a form so people see it based on condition. So let's go. I'm going to create a form. Look for a form right there. I'm going to put this form in here. I'm going to put this form in here. And this is going to be collection of, this is going to be a property. Um, yeah, this is going to be a property. And what I want is that I want you to be able to see this form only if you are a, you are an admin. If you're not an admin, you're not going to see this form. So this is the form. This is the form. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add I'm going to add conditional visibility to the form so that um, my mouse is just misbehaving right now. So I'm going to add conditional visibility to this form so that you only see it if you are an admin. That's the only way you see it. So what I'll do, I'll click on these three buttons right here. Click on change visibility. I'll say sometimes visible when logged in user, yeah, admin. It's true. So that means if the logged in user is an admin, the, the user will go ahead and see the application. But if the and if the logged in user is an admin, the user will go ahead and see the form. But if the logged in user is not is not an admin, he or she won't see it. So now it's true. I'm going to say done. So let's go ahead and preview our application. I'm going to log in as the admin, and I'm going to log in as the user. Don't forget if we go back. If we go back to our database right here, we can see that Paul Paul2 at no code 45 is a user. And the other person, Paul at no code 45, is the admin. So let's go back again, preview our application. And I'm gonna say I already have an account. And I'll log in with I'll log in first with Paul2 as no code45.com and then lo log in with the password. So I'll click on login. So I just logged in and as you can see, you can see the form, why? Because I logged in as an admin. So if I go back again, say I've, I've already signed up and log in as the other user, port two at no code 45, click and enter my password and say login. 
Now you can see that I can't find the form here. Why? Because this user is not an admin. So another way that we can, another thing that we can do is I'm going to delete this. So let's say that uh, we need to add a property. We're going to be sharing a list of property on the home page right here. So what we can do is this. We'll go ahead and add an image. We'll just go ahead and add an image that will only be visible when this when this property is empty. So this is the image here. It will only be visible when this list is empty. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna upload an image right there. Just gonna upload an image. Um, but I look for something easy, something easy. Okay, I'm just gonna upload something from my screen that that's not really related to what we are currently doing right here. So I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna say uh, show full uh, no, let's crop it. Let's just say crop and fill space. Okay. So what I want to do is that I'm gonna put a list of properties right here. So I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go add a list, a simple list right here. And that looks gonna that looks gonna ask me. This is gonna be a list of what? It's gonna be a list of properties, and it's gonna be a list of all properties. Yeah, it's gonna be a list of all properties. That's it. And what I'm gonna do is that this list will only be visible if the property count is more than one. So you see two things. We're going to be doing two things. So I'll click on it. I'll say change visibility. Sometimes visible if property count is greater than or equal to one is greater than or equal to one so you see it's only going to be visible if the number of property counts is greater than or equal to one and we're going to tell this guy we're going to tell this other one would say hey you're going to be visible only if change visibility we're going to be we're going to say sometimes visible we say only visible if property count is less than or equal to zero the same thing is less than or equal to zero is less than zero is less than or equal to zero so that's when this will only show so this will be acting some sort of a placeholder and we're going to say move to face to top so this is going to be face to the top of this page telling the users hey you you've not um you've not registered yet you have to register blah 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 you know stuff like that that's what you'll be saying and then you can put a button you can put a button that will serve as a call to action you can put a button that serves as a call to action and tell that will take them to a place where they'll register you want to see this at work right let's go to our database go to our property you can see zero records that means we will not see the list we'll only see the image so let's go go to our preview So we can see we can see this, but it's supposed to be aligned to the top. I wonder why Dalo is not taking it to the top. But you can see this now because it's not there's no property attached to it. That's the reason why you can see it. So let's go back and probably align this to the top again. That's where it's supposed to be. Mm. It's supposed to be aligned to the top. I wonder why Dalo is not doing it. So we would then let's go add the property to it. Let's go add a record, a property record. I'm gonna add a record. I'm gonna say the name of the property is Manhattan. Hope this does the spelling of Manhattan. Not been to not been to America. So I'm gonna give it to this. I'm gonna give it to this first user, this second user. No unit. I'm gonna put the location as um I'm just gonna put anything in there. SA, put an area as SAA not ask put the area as big and don't worry leave the image as as nothing so you can see now we have one record we have one record right here then so i'll go back preview you shouldn't see the image anymore why because we have a single record in the database now so you can see we have a single record now this is not visible the image has disappeared and we cannot make very good use of our application. So that's it. That's how to work with visible visibility conditions. It's so helpful in your application that you can really deal with it. You can create an app in Adalo without using visibility conditions, especially if you are taking users from one point of the application to another one. You can tell a, a 
You can tell a button to be visible only if a particular condition is met. And you can tell the other button to be visible when a particular condition is met. Just think of it as an if and if state statement that is controlled by you yourself so your users can have a very beautiful experience. That's it. That's how to do so. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you have a, an Adalo project and you want to build mobile application with Adalo and you need help with it, feel free to reach out to me via the description below. We'll talk, see if we're a good fit for each other, and then I'll go ahead and build your project. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a great day. I'll see you in another, uh, another lesson.